Okay, so in this video, we're going to compare Eralo and Olafly. We'll first look at their key features and differences, and then get into their plans and prices, as well as customer support. Also, at the end of the video, we'll have a look at what people are saying on Reddit, specifically those that have used both providers. But first, not every phone can use an eSIM, so it's important to check. We have this handy list at Manito.com, which we update frequently, that I've linked in the description box below. Now, both providers are available in pretty much every country, but Eralo does have slightly wider coverage Coverage, including the Bahamas, Bhutan, and Namibia. Olafly markets themselves as being unlimited, which is reflected in their prices, while Eralo has specific data plans. So that means the more you need, the more you'll spend. Hotspotting or tethering is available with Eralo, while many of Olafly's eSIMs don't support this, although their regional North America plan does. So if this is important to you, make sure to check before you purchase. Amongst their coverage, they both have plenty of regional plans available, although Eralo does have the wider choice here, including Africa and more countries in Latin America and Asia. Eralo also has global coverage. That includes 124 countries, and this does come with the option of having data, calls, and texts. Although besides these global eSIMs, most of Eralo's plans don't come with calls and texts, whereas with Olafly and certain destinations, you can get a telephone number to make and receive calls. This is typically a local Austrian number, although it isn't available for every eSIM. So if this feature is important to you, like hotspotting, definitely check before you buy. Olafly also doesn't allow SMS. Both providers will give you a QR code for installation, except Eralo has a direct installation feature. This basically just takes you from the app to your phone settings and eliminates the need to scan a QR code. Ultimately, I don't think it really makes a huge difference and the process of setting up with either provider is pretty quick, but I guess you could argue that Oralo's direct installation is slightly faster. Both providers offer refunds, although Olafly has the more flexible and friendly policy. They have this specific page, and for example, if you have connection issues or if your eSIM is incompatible, then they say they'll give you a refund. Eralo's can be found within their terms and conditions and are slightly less clear, but one thing that definitely stood out to me was that once you've installed the eSIM, you won't get a refund. Both providers have phone apps, although I prefer Eralo's. It has more features and seems to function better. They also have this useful widget that displays how much data you have left. Obviously, Olafly being mainly unlimited don't need to provide something like this, but their app also doesn't really have any unique features that their website doesn't, so you may as well just use that when purchasing and installing your eSIM. Live chat support is available in-app and through their websites, although their response times are very different, like I found one to be a lot faster than the other, but we'll get into that shortly. And finally, Eralo has a 2.4 on Trustpilot, while Olafly has a very impressive 4.7 from around 35,000 reviews. When looking at data plans from eSIM providers across the industry, Eralo and Olafly really stand out. Eralo is easily one of the cheapest and their plans come with validity periods. So that's how long they'll last. And this can range from seven days to 365. They also have data limits, which start at one gigabyte and go all the way up to a hundred. Obviously this is great if you know how much you'll need, but it also means that you can run out. And if that happens, then you'll have to top up. At Olafly, they also have periods of time that you choose. This ranges from five to 90 days. Although with some destinations like Turkey, you can specify how many you need. Most of their eSIMs are also unlimited, so you get the peace of mind that you won't run out. But of course, this comes at a cost. For example, if you want to travel to the US, 14 days will cost you $48. Now your average data user to scroll the web, navigate and do some social media might only need 10 gigabytes for two weeks. Well, from Eralo, the best eSIM for that person would be this one that costs $26. And if that ran out, then they could just buy this five gigabyte top up and still save money compared to Olafly. I think this is a good overview of how both companies are positioned in terms of both price and product. If you don't need more than 15 to 20 gigabytes of data and cost is the biggest factor in your decision, then Eralo will likely be the better choice. But once you start to exceed this amount, then they could get very expensive with top ups. So if you plan to binge a whole series of Netflix in 4K, then obviously don't get Eralo, but you should also be aware that with Holofly, data usage like that could result in you being throttled. This is because of a fair usage policy that comes with their plans that's at actually at the discretion of the network providers. You'll see this mentioned in the technical specs. I personally had this happen to me when I was testing Holofly. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below. But when I finished downloading a film, I immediately afterwards found that 
I'd had my speeds halved. So while Olafly for heavy data usage in terms of cost makes sense and is far superior, you need to remember that an unlimited package doesn't necessarily mean unlimited speeds. Interestingly, they do have some plans that aren't unlimited, which is quite useful for us because they're easier to compare with Eralo. For example, in Jamaica, this 15 day seven gigabyte eSIM will cost you $44, while Eralo only has this one gigabyte that's $9.50. So in this case, Eralo has less choice Choice, and if you need more than three to four gigabytes, you're better off going with Olafly. And while in most cases they are more expensive, this non-unlimited eSIM is the better, more cost-effective choice. And this just reiterates the importance of checking or shopping around before making your purchase. And if you'd like a discount for either provider, then check out the description box below the video. You'll find codes for five and 10% off. On top of that, we have affiliate links for both, so please consider using those if you want to support myself and the channel. Hopefully you never have to contact customer support, but eSIMs can be a little tricky, particularly when you're installing and activating them. So in case you do need it, both providers have 24 seven support that's available in app and through their websites. Now having tested both providers and 14 other eSIM companies, I found Olafly responded the fastest. They got back to me in under one minute and this has always been pretty consistent as I'm often messaging them just to get more information for videos like this. On the flip side, Eralo has been a bit slow and on average, I would typically hear back from them after 20 minutes. So if price isn't a big influence on your decision and you'd rather peace of mind that you'll get prompt support and of course not run out of data, then Olafly could be a better choice. Ow, I just hit my leg. Customer support is also pretty poor in the eSIM industry. If this is important to you, then consider Olafly. They're more expensive, but the cost of their eSIMs is probably one of the reasons why they can provide such decent support. On Reddit, you'll obviously find a lot of differing opinions, but it can be useful, especially because there are people commenting that have used both providers. I found that there was skepticism around Eralo because of how cheap they are, but a lot of people say they've only ever had good experiences with them. While another person mentioned constantly having to top up as becoming extremely expensive, and of course they said they prefer Olafly's unlimited plans. I found this comment quite interesting. They complained that Eralo was data only and that they required text messages for two two-factor authentication. While Eralo do have eSIMs that come with calls and texts, except you would need one of their Discover Plus global eSIMs, which is total overkill if you're just going to one destination. With Olafly, depending on your location, you'll likely get a telephone number, but they don't have SMS. So if you're like this person and that's something you'll need, then neither provider is really a good choice. But of course, you could always use your original SIM and phone number for things like two-factor authentication. This comment about throttling is also interesting. The fact you don't know how much data you can use before this may happen is definitely a downside to Olafly, but that's really just a cost of having unlimited data. With Eralo, you won't have to worry about that and you can have the confidence that when you use your data that you've paid for, your speeds will not be throttled. This person highlighted that they had no issues with Olafly in nine different countries and that they were happy with the Europe eSIM, except they didn't like the fact that they couldn't tether. Again, this is a limitation of Olafly, but also a sacrifice you have to make in order to have unlimited data. So if you want to tether, you'll have to go for Eralo. And if you'd like to learn more about that, then I've linked a video below where I explained how it works and how to set it up. This one doesn't really tell us anything we don't already know. They complain that Olafly doesn't have hotspot and that Eralo is better for that reason, but they also said they were charged by their carrier even though they followed the correct setup procedure. Now that's not Olafly's fault and really just emphasizes the importance of making sure you've switched data roaming off on your primary SIM. You can also go one step further and just toggle turn this line to off. If price is the biggest influence in your decision and you just need a small amount of data to get you by, so less than 20 gigabytes, then go with Eralo. That's pretty clear. But if you want a local telephone number and you don't want to get one of their global eSIMs, then consider Olafly. Just remember though, they don't have SMS and not every destination comes with a telephone number. But what's so great about Olafly is that you get the peace of mind that you won't run out, although it does come at a cost. And on average, you're looking at around $37 for 10 days of unlimited data. But if you're a heavy user and you want to stream films or game, then that's just the price you'll have to pay. You could stick with Eralo 
follow and have the peace of mind that you won't be throttled and maybe just top up once. Their app does have handy widgets and other means of tracking your data so you could keep an eye on it. And when it gets very low, just reduce your usage. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna use a lot of data, then using Eralo will likely cost you more than going with Olaflight. But you can always save some money on either provider by using one of our discount codes that I've placed in the description box. And once you've made your purchase, you'll obviously need to install and activate, which can be slightly intimidating, but don't worry, I have videos for that as well. You can click here to watch Eralo and here for Olafly. Just look out for the chapters on installation and activation. Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. See you in the next one. Goodbye.